Hello. I've decided to speak out after much thought um, about events of the last day or two. I'm speaking out because I've actually been threatened and I've been told to keep my mouth shut, which, as most people know, I find very difficult to do, especially when it comes to truth and justice. The last day or two, we have had to give out absolutely loads of sleeping bags and tents to people. Um, I've been told to keep quiet, not to say anything, to not let people know the truth about what's going on with all the homeless. Um, today, one of my uh, volunteers ran out with sleeping bags and tents and a member of the public stopped me and stopped my volunteer and asked what we were doing and we said we're giving out sleeping bags and tents to people who are homeless. I don't think people realise just how bad it is at the moment and more people are finding themselves homeless and on the street due to universal credit and due to other things. I've also been told to keep my mouth shut about universal credit. I've been told that we won't get any help, we won't get any grants if we say anything. And as the CEO of Humanity, I have made the decision to speak out and say that this is not right and this isn't true and at the end of the day, people should know what's going on. I've got people desperate. I've got people self-harming. I've got people threatening suicide. I've got people taking crack. I've got people taking heroin. And I've got people going on the game, as people like to call it, but we say working girls, because they cannot afford to live. They can't afford to keep their families. Um, I know at least 10 girls who are now working as prostitutes because they can't afford to feed their families. And I'm speaking out and I'm telling you exactly what's going on. I received another phone call tonight telling me to keep my mouth shut. And I'm not keeping my mouth shut anymore. And people can think what they want and people can report us to the Charities Commission and people can say you shouldn't be saying things. I'm saying things because... At the end of the day, if I don't say them, who else is going to say them? At Humanity, we were set up to believe in truth and justice, and that's exactly what we're doing. And the fact that I've got vulnerable girls on the street at the moment who are doing all sorts of things to get money and food for their families is appalling. And the fact that today we gave out more tents and more sleeping bags than ever, something we really do not like to do. And the fact that people were desperate for cake, they couldn't believe they had cake today because of our open day. And I had one of my volunteers go down with a load of sandwiches to give to people who were literally starving. And we're not allowed to speak out about that. Well, I'm speaking out about it and I'm telling you this is what's going on. And you can shoot me, you can do what you want, but you're not going to stop me because this is a country that believes in free speech. And the free speech is at the moment, it is absolutely awful out there. And to give tents out and it's getting cold, we've got a couple of more days to go and it's going to be really freezing out there. And I want people to know, and I'm not frightened and I don't care if people are trying to intimidate me and tell me to keep my mouth shut and not to say anything. The truth of the matter is universal credit. The truth of the matter is people haven't got any money. And the truth of the matter is there's no homes, no homes being built. People haven't got anywhere to live and they're desperate and it makes me bloody angry having to give out tents and sleeping bags to people. So please share my video, let people know the truth and at the end of the day, please give me all the abusive phone calls you want telling me to shut up and not say anything. I will continue to say something constantly all the time because truth and justice is always the way forward, isn't it?